Hey guys! So today we're going to talk about the Jill. The Jill is a really cute skirt from LuLaRoe. It has an exposed elastic waistband, um, it's a little bit on the thicker side, and then it also has um, pleats all over the entire um, skirt. They are sharp pleats, they're um, ironed into it. I put mine through the washer and the dryer and have never had a problem with them coming out, although I know that's not the official LuLaRoe directions. Um, but they're kind of like permanently in their pleats. They're really cute. Um, it's If you've seen the Lola skirt from LuLaRoe, it's similar to that one. It has the same waistband and it's about the same length, but the Lola has a inner lining layer and then an outer layer that's either chiffon or lace, and the Jills are all just one layer. There's no slip underneath there. It's just a solid layer, um, but they are made out of like a more opaque material, which is really nice, um, and I think they're really fun for like a cute flirty fall look. Um, so I am currently wearing a Jill in kind of the standard method. I have it tucked into a classic tee. Um, I have a Joy and a Sarah on top for layering, um, but I'm just wearing it with boots for like a classic kind of look. Um, there are lots of other ways to wear Jills though that I'm going to share. So the first one I have for you is this one, which features a medium Nicole in a velvet and then this small Jill over the top. Um, the reason I chose this combination is I think it's important to realize that the length of the Nicole and the length of the Jill are really similar, and you can wear a Jill over a Nicole and you won't see the bottom of the Nicole. Um, so it kind of means all of your Nicoles can also be shirts when you wear them with a Jill, and because the Jill has these pleats, um, there's no real bulk. You can't really tell that there's two skirts on underneath here, so it's kind of a, a fun way to get some extra life out of your pieces. Um, so that's one way. Um, the next way I think is a really fun way that I think I'm, I've not actually seen anyone else do this yet, but I'm sure someone else has somewhere, um, is wearing two Jills at once. What? Um, so what I've done here is I've taken, um, these Jills are the same size. They're both smalls. Um, I've taken a Lene and knotted it over the top, um, to bring in the waist and kind of give some more, um, definition and a solid to kind of break up the patterns. But then I've taken two Jills, both a small, the... They're at the same place on the waist, but one Jill I rolled over on itself. So this waistband, I just rolled it. Um, and then I have the other one at the normal length that you would wear it. You can see the waistbands are at the same spot. I just have one rolled. Um, and I think it's really cute. The um, shirt knotted over the top disguises the waistband of the um, top layer Jill, but it's really fun for kind of a layered, um, I don't know, versatile layered look. I really like it. I think it's super cute. Um, so that's one option. And then another option that I wanted to show you guys also involves rolling the waistband. Um, so the natural length of a Jill, you can kind of see it back here. It's going to fall about, um, here's my knee right there. So it kind of falls, I would say it's at the very top of my boot. So I'd say it's like just below my knee. Um, some people like that look, some people don't. There are options. Um, another option you can do if you want to wear it a little bit shorter, but you don't want to have to sacrifice um, having a shirt tucked in, you want to be able to still tuck your shirt in. I have taken the waistband and rolled it twice on this one. You can kind of see if I lift up here. Um, oh no, I only rolled it once. I thought I rolled it twice. Well, you can roll it twice. Um, so the waistband's right here and I just rolled it to the inside. So on this Jill, I rolled it to the outside. You can kind of see the visual difference. I would not wear this ro rolled this way if you could see it. I wouldn't wear it exposed. But if you roll it with the waistband on the inside, you can leave it exposed. But what I would do is I would add a small belt detail because it kind of gives some emphasis to it and makes it look more intentional. Um, but it shortens the length of the Jill a little bit. Um, so it'll be a bit of, like a, a, that would be approximately above the knee on me. Um, so you can get some other length variances if you want to. Um, so that's what I've got for you today right now. I will um, try to make a blog post later this week, and I will also have some gorgeous jills to share with you in our group, so check it out. Um, Jenny Myra's Lularoe Boutique and SpiderandCricket.com. Thanks, guys!